He's to hurt your right point, now. Dre. And now Better Be is swarming here in the midst of round. But they tangle up, and Better Be pushes Bo's dick off, and then walk, walking right back to him. Great work from Better Be. And a clean right hand right on the temple. Clubbing right hands. Body work, and then brings it upstairs. Try to shoot. Against Kalaiji. Kalaiji well, was touching him just to that belt line moments ago. Now dancing on the outside. There's awkwardness to him that you will see. A basic skill in boxing used universally within the sport is clinching or smothering, which is utilized to take a break, protect yourself from punches, or initiate an inside fight, among other reasons. Arthur Beterbiev has demonstrated a few sneaky techniques to break his opponent's clinches or even prevent it. One way Better BF breaks that clinch is with a pivot. This concept is commonly used in wrestling and other grappling sports to break your opponent's balance or create leverage. Since Vozdik's weight is on Better BF, a pivot will act to redirect that weight to the direction Better BF turns. And so you see Better BF pivot with his hips as Vozdik is leaning his weight against him to throw Vozdik's weight in the opposite direction as is clinched up against them. It's also essential to notice that Better Be have held control with his right arm all throughout the pivot to basically throw Vozdik in that direction. As you can see, the sudden manipulation of his weight threw Vozdik off balance, and since he was moved in the direction opposite of Better Biev's right hand, Better Biev now has the space needed to punch with that right hand since you need space to punch. So now it's free to punch with his right hand, but it misses. Here we're gonna see Better Be of prevent a clinch. As he's coming in and attacking, you notice that he throws this uppercut, which actually misses. And now it looks like Vosdik is going to clinch, but he can also counter Better Be of here. However, what Better Be of is about to do will actually prevent both options from Vosdik. Better BF steps around laterally, and this step around creates space between Better BF's right side and Vosdik. Like I said, you need space to punch, and this creates the space needed for his right hand, since Vosdik closed that space. To add on to this, Better BF smartly didn't retract his missed uppercut and used it to control Vosdik's head to help create space by using it to push on Vosdik's head. It also prevents Vosdik from being able to counter. And bam, the right hand lands behind the ear, knocking Vosdik off balance. I previously made a video on how Floyd Mayweather uses the same technique of turning his missed punches into head control so that he could prevent clinches and continue his offense. And here we see another example. Better be if comes in and is going to be looking for that right hand. As you see, he's going to throw that right hand here, which misses. And once again, he's going to step over to the right side while controlling Vosik's head to create the space needed for another right hand, which misses. And then as you see, as they come together, smothered up again, Better Biev's gonna do the same thing, but step over to his left. As you see, he steps around creating space for his right hand. Again, as he lands a shot there, and then another shot finally before Vozik's able to tie up. And another example of this, as you see Better Biev is coming in, and as he attacks, you notice that they end up smothered up and clinched again, and Better Biev once again doesn't have the space to punch. So what he's gonna do, once again, he's gonna step around slightly to the side, while pushing with head control, and that gives them space to throw the left hand, which once again lands behind the ear, knocking Brown off balance. And so you may be thinking, if the goal of breaking or preventing a clinch is creating space, then why not simply step back to create that space? The thing is, if your opponent isn't already hurt or tired, then stepping back from point blank always carries the risk of opening yourself up for your opponent to simply follow you back with punches. So with his opponent clearly badly hurt, Better BF takes the easy route and just breaks the clinch by stepping away. 
Berbiev also doesn't need to miss a punch first in order to turn it into head control. Here he sees his opponent initiate a clinch, so immediately Berbiev goes straight into head control to create space to prevent the clinch and give him the space to punch. And as you see, he tries to step over to his right to throw his right hand, but he ends up tripping over his opponent's feet. And so this time Kalijic jabs to set up his clinch, which catches Betterbiev off guard. So Betterbiev couldn't prevent the clinch this time, so now this time he has to try to break the clinch. And just like the very first example, Betterbiev is going to pivot to break his opponent's balance. And you notice that the pivot disrupted Kalijic's balance enough for Betterbiev to get his hands in for head control to further throw Kalijic's weight off balance as he's pivoting. And this is now going to give Betterbiev the space to punch. And there you see the right hand behind the ear, which breaks up the clinch before the referee has time to do it himself. And that's going to do it for this one. As always, thank you all for watching, and catch Arter Better Biev back in action when he faces Anthony Yard, who surely will look to clinch up with him. As always, thank you to all my GOAT tier patrons, Jason Mahinen, Grant Gabriel, Albert Chen, Jeff, Dmitry Drozdov, Andre, Gostalegeza, Mark Price, Marshall Bott, Suaz Naber, Jesus Galindo, Tal Lane, and John Stroll, as well as my channel member, Hot Bucket Maestro. You guys keep the channel going, and I'll see you all in the next one.